Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, and I'm on one. I'm going to tell y'all right now, still feeling a little under the weather, but hey, duty calls. So um, I've had time, especially being under the weather, to really pray and everything. So I'm going to walk this thing out. I'm going to tell you right now, some of you are not going to agree. Some of you going to, you know, you know how y'all act, because one thing I've noticed about church folks is that y'all churchy. But y'all really don't know God. Y'all don't know the spirit of God. Y'all don't know the protocol of God. Y'all don't know the honor of God. And so I'm going to walk this thing out so I can possibly teach you what's been taught to me, not just by God, but also by the spirit of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You see, I'm going to walk this thing out. First of all, I don't care what anyone says, by the spirit of discernment, by the spirit of wisdom, by the spirit of knowledge. This young man is more deranged. And first of all, when I look into his eyes, I see that he's been chipped. He has no feeling. I need for the real people that has discernment, that have spirit of God. Look in his eyes. Ever since that Trump thing, I mean, it's, I'm just going to keep it real. I don't have time to play games on here. This man has been cloned. This man has been cloned. I don't know what they did to the real Kanye. Y'all know what I'm saying. Now, y'all can play crazy if you want to. I'm going to walk this thing out and do just what God says. I mean, he has not been the same. He don't look the same. He don't act the same. You can say what you want. It's just like a robotic. But anyway, so his agenda is to fool the masses, get y'all ready for um, new world order and martial law by worshiping. But what are you worshiping? We talked about the other day how rappers and singers are worship leaders. I couldn't understand what God was doing, but he took me thing. He took me back around. So don't worry. I'm going to walk this thing out or oh, I'm going to walk it out on you. Who was the devil in the Bible? He was the worshiper. He was the choir director. So he is also, he is the worshiper on this earth. He is the lead worshiper in music. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to go old school with y'all and I'm going to come back around. Hold on. I got a lot of things to show y'all. So here's the deal what God was telling me. He said, Deanna, walk that thing out and I'm going to walk it out. Most of you don't understand this, but... When it comes to worship, it has to be holy. Oh, I'm going to walk this thing out. Okay, so when I was in Bible college, we had to do the tabernacles, okay? So the tabernacle of David, David was the one that actually started worship. God trusted David to start worship. And what happened is he had to do it a certain way. As a matter of fact, he had to pick the Levitical tribe, which was the utmost in heart, was the most righteous in heart. And, and look, everything that I'm saying on here... I challenge every last one of you to go look it up and do the research and come back to me. I'm going to say it again. I challenge everybody that's going to listen to this. Go do the research and come back to me, honey. Please. I say please. All right. So let me walk it out. So when God created the tabernacle of David. Matter of fact, let me go there now. So y'all can see. So y'all go purchase the book if you want to do that. This is the Tabernacle of David. This is the book we had. This is the book I actually teach my students from when we're doing the Tabernacle, when God tells me to. All right. So I studied this book inside and out on page 151. You can go into it or I, you're not going to be able to do it on Amazon. You have to get the book. Okay. Because I tried because I was going to put it up on here on page 151. It shows you the order of divine worship. I'm going to say it again. The order of divine worship. David had to do it a certain way. David had to pick the Levitical tribe, which was the most purest at heart. Then David that was the priest. Then David had to make sure that he used certain instruments. God would not allow every instrument because what they found out is that certain instruments move your body parts. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Y'all notice when you go to a club, we've all been in the club shaking our booty, so I don't want to hear nothing. Y'all know it's the truth back in the day. Well, that's what they're doing today. Here's the deal. Certain instruments make your body want to have sex. It, 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 I mean, this thing gets so deep. Rhythm, music, all of that. Let me tell you something. It is designed to make the body move in certain ways. That's why these kids, I'm going to walk with y'all very slow so y'all can get this. Heavy metal. You notice how they just shake their head and act like they're going crazy? You notice when they go to a uh, rapper's um, concert, everybody get violent. I mean, they want to do bad things. Let me tell you something, certain music, certain chords, it strikes your spirit. This thing gets so deep, I'm telling you, if y'all really knew how deep it was, like I said, I challenge every last one of you to get this book. He breaks it down just the way God told him to. So let me stay focused. So 
David had to do it a certain way. God said, I need this instrument used. I need this instrument used. I don't want you to use this instrument because he already figured out that certain instruments make you want to do certain things. We're talking about a movement of sexuality. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to walk this thing out. You ain't got to worry about that. I sure will. So basically what Kanye West is doing, and I couldn't figure it out because I said, God, what's going on? God will never tell you. I need you to listen to me. God would never tell you to come truly against one of his that's the first thing y'all need to know that's how i knew that was a red flag meaning that for god to say something to me about kanye i already knew that wasn't right number two god is not trying to hurt anybody he's trying to expose the enemy the enemy must be exposed at all costs it doesn't matter if it costs us our life y'all need to understand that for y'all scared people y'all ain't gonna understand that because y'all too scared y'all gonna take the chip anyway okay all right so let me continue there's a certain movement going on, which is a chanting movement, a perverse movement. It's called chanting. It's a lot of chanting going on. So let me go to my next slide. Y'all, I'm not a professional, so I'll just be trying to do what I do on here. Okay, let's see. I got to go to these. No, let's see. Y'all bear with me. I got you. Bear with me. Okay, so I got to go scripture right now. Proverbs 10, 8, 10 says, the wise of heart will receive commands, but a babbling fool will be ruined. He who walks in integrity walks securely, but he who pervert his ways will be found out. He wanks the eye, causes trouble and a babbling fool. Y'all notice that it's just music being played. There's first of all, when it is a service of God, there must be a word that goes forth. When you we we talking word now we ain't even playing with nobody we ain't even talking about Kanye we talking about the structure of what he's doing does it have sound doctrine is the word of God going forth is God being honored is Jesus Christ being mentioned is there people coming at the end saying all right who wants to be saved um anybody want to say the sinner's prayer you see no one thing about church folks and I hate I hate to tell y'all this and, and but I have to. Y'all believe everything, said the Lord. And you know why you believe it? Because you don't have wisdom and discernment. Which, y'all ain't going to like this. There are not too many Christians these days, for real. You are a follower of what you believe. But a true Christian believes the gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth all the way. That means biblical sound doctrine. You can't just bring anything to me. You can't, oh, I got to walk this thing out. Y'all not going to like it. Just because people sing good, y'all be, oh, they, they, they saved. There are several singers that are high witches, and y'all talking about that they love God. And if somebody says something about them, y'all are ready to, oh, I'm telling you, y'all will attack another true Christian behind that person singing secular music that is actually provoking your children to do what they do. Y'all ain't ready for me today, but I'm going to walk this thing out. All right, Ezekiel 32, 16 says, there's a lamentation and they shall chant. That's what chant, That's what Kanye's doing at his music festivals or whatever. That's what I'm going to call it, a music festival. The daughters of nations shall chant it over Egypt and all the, all the hordes, they shall chant it, declares the Lord God. Praise God. Let me walk this thing out, y'all. All right, then Timothy says, 1 Timothy 6.20 says, O Timothy, guard what has been entrusted to you, avoiding worldly and empty chatter and opposing arguments of what is falsely called knowledge. You guys are, oh man, oh, he's a babe in Christ. Let me tell you something. And, and y'all don't understand when I say something. I have loved God my whole life and going to continue to love him to the day I die. One of the things of a true child of God, we are not trying to hurt anybody. But you can't feed us no lies. You can't feed us no junk because we coming for you. And we gonna, first of all, we going to God. And what he say? That's what we taking. It doesn't matter what you say. Y'all ain't ready. Let me continue. Proverbs 10, 8, 10 says, The wise of heart will receive commands, but a babbling fool will be ruined. He who walks in integrity walks securely, but he who perverts his ways will be found out. Oh, come on, somebody. He, he says that again. So basically what God was saying is that Deanna, Kanye is chanting. And what he's doing is, you remember I was telling you in the book of, um, in the book of, in, in, in the book of, um, come on somebody, the tabernacle, there's a divine order of worship. And I wish that you all, I know you're probably all not going to purchase the book. It's called the tabernacle of David. But if somehow y'all can get to page 151, 
is going to be clearer. I couldn't bring it up in this um thing. I was trying to do it because, uh, believe it or not, I've given my book away like twice. But I'm going to buy me another one. Well, I'm going to get it to y'all. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to I'm gonna order it today because I really, uh, I'm, I got to pull this thing. I got to pull this onion back. So let me tell you what chant is. This is the definition of chant. Okay. To say a word or phrase many times. Listen, look at this word. Rhythmic way used usually loudly and with other people. Y'all ain't ready to sing words and especially religious prayers by using a small number of musical notes that are repeated many times. Chant. Oh, y'all ain't even ready. Let me tell you what God told me. God said, Dan, he's a witch doctor. Now I'm gonna break this thing down. Do y'all remember our ancestors back in the day, right? Where, um, basically let me, no, I'm gonna leave it on that chant. So God was saying back in African days when they used to just chant and they would beat the drums, right? What the, were they doing? They were doing the same things. It was rhythmic, usually loudly and with other people. They called it the witch doctor, the voodoo doctor. You guys, let me tell you something. You got to be very careful. Notice they call music the media. Where does media come from? Media come from medium. What is a medium? A medium is a psychic. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? All God is saying is that be careful. Everything is not God just because they say it. Every, as a matter of fact, thank you, Lord. What does the scripture say? The scripture says that the angel of darkness, what he transforms himself into the angel of light. Oh my God, my God. Y'all not hearing me today. Be careful of calling everything God. First of all, God says, test the spirit by the spirit. Do y'all really feel the anointing? I'm going to answer that for y'all. No, because you're lying. You, you lying if you say you do. All you see is somebody saying Jesus. They don't mind saying Jesus, by the way. They don't mind performing. But there must be an indication of the filling of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. I'm going scripture with y'all. I'm going scripture. God says when you are saved and sanctified and touched by him, he says there is an infilling of the Holy Ghost. Now, y'all know I don't see no Holy Ghost. I don't feel no Holy Spirit. You guys, let me tell you something. It's one of the biggest setup of Satan in the music industry today is to pervert God's music. And I've told you this before. If it hits your feet before it hits your spirit, it's not God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his name. So this chanting, this chanting is, 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 is a witchcraft. This chanting is trying to take over the population. I don't know what kind of agenda or assignment they put that young man on, but they got that young man. Well, I'm sorry, the clone on the assignment. Y'all don't notice that there's no hardly no feeling and no expression in the way he talk and where he move. Y'all don't notice that, huh? I need you to look in the eyes. I need you to look in his eyes. I'm going to say it again. I, there's no life there. Oh, I'm sorry. I walk heavy. I walk heavy. I'm not trying to brag. I know what God showed me. I'm 51 and God ain't never lied to me. And hold on. I love everybody. But truth is true to the day I die. I don't care what nobody say. Be careful of listening to this young man's music. Be careful, God says. You're going to be consumed by a spirit that is not of God. Hallelujah. Christians, you, you don't test the word by the word, God says. You don't. You don't do that. I'm going back to the Tabernacle of David. This is where you're going to find your information if you would like just to get the book. So that's all. I'm not going to be on here. Um, And that's another thing. The dancing. You know, I didn't know about this. This is something that just newly came into my life about this information. I didn't know that the dancing is also a form of witchcraft. It's very provocative. You know, it don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. Because you're dancing up on each other. It's almost like sexual movements, right? So when David danced, David danced unto the Lord. David didn't dance with nobody. De David wasn't trying to. You see, we have to be careful the way we worship God. God is holy. God is holy. So I want to leave you with this. Would God be pleased? Whenever you see somebody worshiping or preaching, I need you to test the spirit by the spirit and ask yourself, if Jesus Christ was in the midst, would he be involved in that? I think that's the best way you can do it. Because if you, because one thing about Christians, and that's how I know that they've watered down the gospel, 
It's not that y'all don't love God. Y'all want to believe that everything is God and everything's not God. Everything's not God. It's just not reality. So I pray that you guys understand um, truth has to be told, whether who likes it, who, who come for me, because they're going to come for me. Yes, y'all, you know, you know how it is. They love them some stars, you know what I'm saying? And, and scripture say, who was the fallen star? I mean, script, scripture tells you right there everything. <laughs> and yet, but the Bible says that in the last days, they will be lovers of themselves and they will hate true doctrine. All right, I don't have to keep repeating the same thing. This is what it is. God says that this is a this is this is a witch doctor of worship. And I'm sticking with God. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. We're all our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.